We're now going to look at circuits for the V60, V60 Plus. If you have a patient who has a potential infection or a known infection, it is generally considered appropriate to use a dry circuit um, ra rather than a heated circuit, as this sort of negates some of the potential pollution to the environment and growth of bacteria, etc., and viruses. This is a dry circuit for this device. It, this comes complete in a pack. All of that you want in there all comes as one. It still has a bacterial viral filter that you put on the gas outlet. It has a proximal pressure line that you will attach to here. However, in terms of the passive exhalation port, it is often used like this without an additional filter on. But in a patient when there is an infection risk, it is recommended and advisable to use another filter over the passive exhalation port to allow for clean, the air to be filtered before it goes into the atmosphere. This is the setup that you would attach to a mask under normal NIV conditions. However, if you're going to use it invasively, you have to add an HME to this system to provide heat and moisture to the, to, to the airway. So if you're using an HME, this is the way it should be set up. It should be in front of the passive exhalation port, like this. Otherwise, you would get potential patient contamination otherwise. And then this can be then connected to the patient. I'm just connecting to an endotracheal tube here on this mannequin. 